Let's graph parabolas. This is the form y minus k equals a times x minus h squared. We call this vertex form because it gives us the vertex of the parabola. h is the x coordinate of the vertex and k is the y coordinate of the vertex. a tells us whether our, our parabola is going up, going down, and whether it's fat or skinny. Let's take a look at an example. In blue, we have y equals negative one-third x squared. The vertex of this parabola is at zero comma zero because there's nothing next to my x and there's nothing next to my y. This is x minus zero and this is y minus zero. So our vertex is at zero comma zero. The negative one-third in front of the x squared is my a. The fact that a is negative means that my parabola is going down in the negative direction. And the fact that a is a fraction less than one means that this parabola is gonna be fat. Now I can check this by plugging in values of x that would make a little bit of sense. For example, if I plug in one, well, then I have to multiply, you know, negative one third by one and that's a fraction and that's kind of sticky. So let's try something else. How about three? If we plug three into here, three squared uh, is nine times negative one third is negative three. So here we have uh, three down to negative three. Likewise, we can try x equals negative three, which is right here. If you plug that in, negative three squared is still nine times negative one third is still negative three. So here's negative three comma negative three. We could get another point, but we have an idea of what parabolas look like, and so this parabola seems to be going off down this way. Like, that's terrible, but you get the idea. Now let's try graphing the red parabola. The vertex of this parabola is at negative six, because it's x minus h, so we have x minus negative six, or we can think of it as the opposite of whatever you see here. So negative six comma positive three, because again, it's the opposite. So we have negative six comma positive three. That is right here. So this is the vertex of this particular parabola. Now, let's check around x equals negative six and see if we can make some sense of what's going on here. So let's move that three to the other side. Here we have y equals negative one third x plus six squared plus three. By the way, this is true vertex form right here, but we consider this vertex form as well because it gives the vertex. Let's plug in values of x next to negative six, like how about negative five? Well, here we have negative five plus six, that's one squared. Again, I'm multiplying negative third by one, that's not gonna be so nice. Let's try negative four. Let's try another one, negative four. Negative four plus six, that's two. Again, a fraction. Let's try negative two, or negative three, excuse me, negative, negative three right here. Negative three plus six. Oh, well that is three squared is nine times negative one third is negative three plus three gives us zero. So that's pretty nice right there. And because parabolas are symmetric, about the vertex, that, has, that will also be the case over here, three away from negative six. And this particular parabola goes down like this. Now you'll notice that these two parabolas have the same fatness and are also going down just the same. This is because they are essentially very similar parabolas. The only difference is that this vertex is centered at zero, zero, and this vertex is centered at negative six comma three. Furthermore, we can actually find the axis of symmetry of these two parabolas quite easily by creating a line going through the vertex. This axis of symmetry is what makes these parabolas symmetric. So this axis of symmetry right here is x equals negative six, and this one is x equals zero. 
this example, we want to find the equation in vertex form of the parabola that has the vertex at 4 comma 5 and that contains the point 5 comma 3. 5 comma 3 is on the graph of our parabola. So we know that vertex form is of the form y minus k here k is the y coordinate of my vertex which is 5 is equal to a times x minus the x coordinate of my vertex which is 4 squared. Well we have most things, I mean two out of the three variables that we needed are now solved. We just need a. a is what we need to find and they gave us another piece of information which is that the point 5 comma 3 is on our parabola. What that means is that when we plug 5 comma 3 into x comma y we should get a true statement. So let's plug 5 comma 3 into x comma y. So we have 3 minus 5 is equal to a times 5 minus 4 squared. Let's make that a bit nicer. 3 minus 5, that's negative 2. This is equal to 5 minus 4 squared is 1 so times a. Well, that's just a. Oh, so a equals negative 2. So our parabola is y minus 5 equals negative 2 times x minus 4 squared. And that is the answer.